All right, Mom, we've done it. You've done it. You look great. Well taught. Well taught. I have a good teacher. Hi guys, I'm Matt. Welcome back to my kitchen. And it is Hanukkah, one of my favorite holidays and the time of year where I get to enjoy one of my favorite foods, potato latkes. They're crunchy on the outside, they're fluffy on the inside. You can enjoy them with sour cream, with applesauce, whatever you want. I love them so much. Unfortunately, I am not able to go home and be with my family for the holidays this year. So in order to satisfy my craving for homemade latkes, I am joined by none other than my own mom. Hi everyone, I'm Laura. I'm Matt's mom. I'm here to teach him how to make latkes the way my grandmother and my mother did. All right, mom, are you excited? Are you ready? I am so ready. <laughs> awesome, let's do it. Mom, I am ready. You had me peel the potatoes, so I'm assuming we move on to shredding? This is the dangerous part. Okay. How often did Grandma make these growing up? Every other. But actually, she made them more often than that. We had them as a side dish. And then would you help her growing up, or would she just do it on her own? My grandmother would do it on her own, but my mother would get Grandpa to do the grill. Grandpa doesn't cook that often, though. No, Grandpa doesn't cook at all. <laughs> He's tried over the years. He used to say that it wasn't complete unless there was a little bit of knuckle. Oh god. I would eat some of the potato at the risk of cutting it off. Oh! Oh what? You okay? Yeah, no, I'm good. See? Look, I saved a little bit. Which grandmother did latkes? Uh, they both did latkes, but I remember my father's mother doing it more. He would have enjoyed her cooking. He would have enjoyed both their cooking. Oh yeah, they're oxidizing a little bit, right? Yeah, but that's, that's okay. Okay. I think I'm only going to use a half an onion for this. And do I just shred it like I shred the potato? You want to do it a little bit finer. Okay. They don't cook very long, so you want to make sure that you don't have chunks of onion. Ah. Uh -huh. So the finer the better. Okay. <sighs> this is quite the workout. It is. And the, you may tear up. How are your eyes doing? Getting a little teary. Okay. Because I miss you, Matthew. Aww. I do miss you. I miss you too. But this time it's just the onions. Make sure you wipe the inside and get all the onion and potatoes that hang out on the inside of the brain. Oh yeah, look at that. All this pulp inside. Now was making latkes a big deal in your house growing up? It wasn't a big deal, but nobody ever really followed the recipe. It's got very few ingredients. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do next is I'm using a nut milk bag. Okay. We can use a towel or you can use a pillowcase, and I'm just gonna take the onions and the potatoes and put them in the nut milk bag and then squeeze out the liquid. Got it. Oh wow, it's already it's already dripping. Oh whoa. Okay, that's a lot of liquid. Wow, just when you think you gotten it all out, it still keeps going. I mean, you're not gonna be able to get all the water out, but right. There's a lot of water in here. I think I've gotten most of it out. That's good. Now you can set it aside. Okay. And I can just throw this away? No, save it. And if you, if you look carefully, you'll see the white potato starch settled on the bottom. Oh yeah, all through there. Carefully drain off the liquid. Oh yeah, okay. Like that? Yep. Perfect. And just set this aside? Yep. Now it's time to mix them. So you have to empty your towel or whatever you're using. Reverse my nut set. I don't think I you- say that. <laughs> Oh wow. It's pretty dry. Yeah, no, this is really dry. Add the potato starch. I'm gonna start off with one egg. Because you don't you don't want it too much moisture if they don't crisp. Ah, got it. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, mix it together. My family didn't really use the recipe, so we may need to add the extra egg. And I'm thinking we might. I'm gonna add the second egg. Traditionally, you'll add another binder, you'll add lots of meal or lots of bone mix just to pull it all together and let it hold its shape. I would start like a ta tablespoon at a time. Looks like a tablespoon-ish. You just want it to kind of hold its shape a little bit. Got it. I'm gonna add a little bit more just cause I feel like it needs it. And don't worry about seasoning or if you need more of a binder. We're gonna test this. I'd say my mixture looks pretty good or is that it? That's it. So now we're ready to cook the latkes and you need about a quarter of an inch of a neutral oil. I'm using grapeseed oil today. Medium heat, medium high. So give it a stir. Sometimes it separates. Oh yeah, mine did separate. That's one. Okay. Very carefully putting in 
and then I'm smushing it down. And I'm just gonna let this go and check it in about two minutes. I think I'm gonna flip mine. I think mine's ready. Mine might be too. All right, ready? Oh, wow. Oh, that looks good. Does it? Yeah. The comments will tell me if it looks good or bad, so. <laughs> you wanna make sure they're cooked enough so that the potato cooks through. All right, I'm actually happy with this. I'm gonna pull mine. Can you see that? Oh, it looks good. All right, I'm gonna transfer to a rack. Okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna add a little more salt. Ooh. Yeah, it's all steamy on the inside. Look at that. It's good. It's really creamy. Cool. And I'm just adding a little bit of salt to mine. When she's done, she's gonna taste it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. 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 Yeah, it's and ba-boom. All right, Mom, we've done it. We've done it. How'd they come out, Matt? Mine, mine look great. You want to take a look? They look great. I prefer my latkes with applesauce and sour cream. You prefer differently, though. I do. I prefer sour cream only, no applesauce. To each his own. You ready to dig in? Ready? Let's do it. Really good. Mm-hmm. It's crisp and lacy on the outside and it's nice and soft and like fluffy on the inside. Nice job. Well taught. Well taught, I have a good teacher. It's passed down from generation to generation and everybody adds their own flair to it. So it's everybody's latke. Mom, thank you so much for showing me how to do this. Thank you for letting me teach you how to do this and wish you were home, but this was nice. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know what you think in the comments below, or you can message me on Instagram. I wish everyone a happy holiday and bye. Oh yes.